What's up everybody, Ricky Carruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So let's discuss this recession ahead and how we are going to handle it. If you've been watching the news or listening to economists for the last three to six months, they've been talking about a recession coming. So before we get into how we're gonna handle the recession, let's talk about the actual recession itself. Is it coming, is it not coming? Why are they saying it's coming? What are they looking at? What does all this mean? So I'm not some great economist or anything like that, but I do watch it, I do read, I do try to figure out what's going on so that I can set myself up accordingly. I buy and trade a lot of stocks. I really enjoy stocks. And so I watch the economy very closely, I watch the companies, and I kind of watch and see what happens. And I really enjoy it and I keep up with it. So coming from someone who doesn't know a whole lot about this stuff, but from the outside looking in, I think that there's two reasons why all the economists out there, a lot of them, are talking about a recession coming soon, okay? I think the first reason is the fact that the bull market has went so long. We've went so long without a recession. I believe this is the longest bull market that we've ever seen in the history. So, you know, that right there scares a lot of people. You know, it's like, oh, it's went up so long, it has to come down at some point, right? Right, and they're right about that. It's gonna come down at some point, it has to. The second reason is the inverted yield curve, uh, which is an indicator that has indicated before of a recession. You've probably heard that term quite a few times over the last month or two, inverted yield curve, inverted yield curve. But the real truth is, is that the US economy is strong incredibly strong. Earning reports for the companies have been incredible. Unemployment is down. There's really nothing in the data that shows, except for the inverted yield curve, which is really just an indicator, but there's nothing really else in the data that shows that we're headed for a recession. All the data shows that we're in a very strong economy. Now, if you do pay attention to the stock market, it has been very volatile this year. It's been up and down, up and down, up and down. And from what I can tell, that's literally coming from the trade war with China. Every time they talk about putting a deal together, the stock market comes up a little and every time they say something like it gets prolonged or something then the stock market comes down. So that means that the stock market here lately has been going up and down due to politics and not the actual companies that are in the stock market. See this is one thing that needs to correct itself and it will over time. But the stock market should not go up and down based on what a politician says or what's going on politically. It should go up and down based on the fundamentals of the companies that are in the stock market. And the companies that are in the stock market are doing incredible. Even companies that have nothing to do with China are getting affected by this trade war talk. So I find all this very interesting. I feel like the trade war is the only thing really holding the stock market back from really going to new levels. And I predict as soon as we get a deal worked out with China, that we will see the stock market improve dramatically. And as far as a recession goes, another thought of mine on this is that there's a lot of cash on the sidelines. Investors have a lot of cash right now because they're anticipating a recession and everybody got crushed in the last recession. So they don't want that to happen again, so they're over-prepared. So there's a, even more cash than there would be normally when we're at this point in a bull market. So what does that tell us? Well, it tells me that if we do hit some kind of recession, that all the cash sitting there is actually waiting on that moment to buy more, to buy stocks, to buy real estate, to buy assets at lower prices because we're in a recession. What is all this buying gonna do? It's gonna make the market come back. That's why markets go up and down. People sell, it goes down. People buy, it goes up. So I believe the next recession we do hit, it's gonna come and go so quick, we won't even realize it. Now, keep in mind, I could be completely wrong about all this, and I'm not trying to predict it whatsoever. I think anyone who claims that they know what's gonna happen in the future are just trying to sell you something because nobody knows what's gonna happen. I'm just telling you what I think and I'm not even basing my actions right now, my decisions on what I think. I'm setting myself up for a big crash. 
So I'm not even I'm not even taking my own advice here. I'm just telling you what I think. I don't see a recession anytime soon, and if we do, it's going to be a very short-lived one. Now, if you're a real estate agent, maybe you're new, maybe you're five years in, and you haven't seen the recession. You didn't go through 2005 to 2011 where the market plummeted and was down for so long. You haven't been through one of those moments. All you hear is horror stories about how horrible it was and how everybody lost everything and so on and so forth, which I was one of those people. I got in the business when I was 20, made a million by the time I'm 23, was bankrupt, sleeping on friends' couches by 25. It was an incredible roller coaster, but during that time was when I learned everything about how to handle a recession, what to do, how to prepare, and how to succeed even more during the recession. The first thing I would like you to do here is hit the like button, please, and leave me a comment below so that the YouTube algorithm can push this video out to more agents that need to hear this. I'm fixing to break down exactly what you need to know to prepare and survive any market crash whatsoever. And I wrote a book about this called List to Last, How to Survive Every Real Estate Market Market crash. I'll put a link below, but it's literally everything that I learned through that experience. So if you're a real estate agent, one thing I want you to know is that there's no such thing as a recession for real estate agents. There's no such thing as a recession for real estate agents. There's a recession for property owners because their properties go down. There's a recession for stockholders, their stock prices go down. But there's not a recession for real estate agents. There's only a couple of different markets for real estate agents. There's a buyer's market, there's a seller's market, and then there's a balanced market where it's kind of balanced between the buyers and sellers. In all three markets, there are transactions happening. And this is one of the key points that I learned when I lost everything back in 2005 to 2011 when everything crumbled on me was that when I looked back at it and realized it and got back in the business, I looked back at, at all those years and I realized closings were happening every single day. I just didn't realize that I needed to transition myself from sellers to buyers. That was it. I just needed to transition myself from sellers to people who wanted to buy these cheaper assets, investors, or, or even people that wanted to use the properties, just wanted to buy properties for cheaper. This was an incredible aha moment for me. And this is why agents have to get out of the business when the market does decide to transition. It's because you don't transition with it. You have to transition with the market from your current clients who are not going to do anything when the market transitions to this new set of clients who want to get in while the market's down. And you're going to represent sellers as well who are in trouble or who really need to sell or, you know, or in that situation where they have to sell. You're still going to represent those people as well, but this is where when the market transitions, we go back to our sphere and our, our past clients you know, see what's going on, and we try to weed out the people that we already know who are in position to buy at the bottom, or who are sellers who might be getting in trouble. We want to go ahead and spot and see who those people are, okay? Then when we get through that list, we're going to continue with our circle prospecting, our expireds, and all that stuff, looking for people who either have to sell or really want to buy now that it's so cheap. Buyers that want to buy when the market's down, they want to buy right this second before prices go up. And the sellers that have to sell, that, that, that sell, need to sell right now. So there is so much urgency in the market and all the agents leave the business. And I'm sitting here selling all these properties. That's how the game works. So you have to wrap your mind around this and realize closings continue to happen every day. Business continues to become unlimited for every single agent. You can't talk to everyone and ask them what can you do for them. You can't control the market. Your job is to find the people that need help 
in whatever market we're in and help them. So just remember, there is no such thing as a recession for real estate agents. There's only buyer's market, seller's market, and a balanced market, buyers and sellers. And what we want to do is continue doing exactly what I teach in my free coaching program at ZeroToDiamond.com and circle prospect property owners who own the type of properties we want to sell asking what we can do to help them. Build our database, continue building our email database, sending out the weekly email every single week on the same day of the week forever. Rain or shine, that email's going to go out. It doesn't matter what the market's doing, it doesn't matter what we're doing, it's like clockwork. And it proves to our clients that we are who we say we are. So I hope this video helps you with your mindset going into this so-called recession that's I don't think gonna happen anytime soon. But either way it goes, it's gonna happen at some point and I want you to be completely prepared. I do not want you to have to get out of the business because the market transitions. We should be jumping and going more all in with the business because it's gonna open up so many opportunities for us. So I hope this takes a lot of weight off your shoulders if you're worried about a crash or what's gonna to happen to you or what's gonna to happen to your career and it makes you take more action and become more committed and go more all in with what you're doing. And remember, relationships over transactions wins every time. Please hit the like button and leave your comments below. Let me know what you think about this video and what other videos you would like me to make. If you're just seeing me for the first time and you would like to sign up for my absolutely free real estate coaching program, there's a link in the description or you can go to zero to diamond.com. There's an online course, 90 day action plan, live training, full access to me, and it's all completely free. There's over 19,000 agents currently in the program, and it's the first completely free real estate coaching program that actually brings value. All I'm doing is showing people through my program how I built my business and became the number one REMAX agent in the state of Alabama three times, going on number four this year. Let me know what in the world I can do for you. Let's go. Thank you.